five minutes. So yeah, that's all right. They don't like going inside no. during the day. No. They're like, what are you doing? They've smelt the freedom. How dare you? That one. I mean, there was quite a few here once, then we'll just collapse. Having up there, can you see on the ridge, just get yeah. it up. It's even higher. Yeah. Sixteen hundred. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be that high. If there was a good road leading here, but it's fucking high, I wonder what it'd be like in choppy weather. If we, uh, if we have a good road towards it on the south.
chickens were attacked by a dog from a passerby. You can see the feathers, the white one is she lost her tail. She's limp, but I think she kind of looks okay. Black one is still missing. There was a couple with a dog, they came by. They even came to say hello and say it, talk about the building giving some compliments and then it just they were there <sighs> and they <coughs> Yeah, at least she's walking again and eating. This morning it was worse. Her tail's bitten off. And she lost a lot of feathers on the back, but she's not bleeding, so I think she'll make it. But winter is ahead and that's not good. They need to be strong for the colder temperatures. Um, the black one is gonna make it. She probably died right away. Uh, yeah. I have to build a fence around the property there because I want chicken to be roaming freely here. I can build a fence around the coop so they can be outside. I could do that as well, but then you just have one scratched up area. It's gonna look ugly. I like it when they have a big area to roam around, then they have their freedom and they have a lot to eat, and the place will still look nice, you know. Uh, so because nature can recover because they have such a big area where they can scratch around Yeah, it's sad
balans denk ik. Ja. Bij vissen. Ik denk dat er heel veel veren van de kont zijn van de wijn. Dat houdt het ook warm aan die veren. Ja. Ze hebben nu een beetje koud kont. Een koud kippenkontje. Een koud kippenkontje, ja.
Als jij boven kijkt, kijk ik onder. Oké, Als je op deze kant ziet, vind je het goed, anders kijk je tegen de manen. Het was nu alsnog een beetje nattig, dus het schoot ook niet echt op. Mm. Dus het was echt zo. Uh, het is wel leuk als het een beetje een strijd is. Ja. Maar het waait nu natuurlijk niet, dus dat is best wel makkelijk. Het is grappig hoe die, uh, die tripoot.
Stove's finished. It's been a strangely warm day today, about 15 degrees this afternoon with a lot of wind. Um, I opened all the windows, it was great to dry out the mortar, and it's all pretty much dry now. So um, next week floorboards are gonna go in and then I'll probably move in as well because the temperatures are gonna drastically be lower tonight, it's gonna freeze and next week it will be freezing all week. Um, so I'm ready to move in. Just put in a bed on the table. Still has to be, a lot has to be done like plumbing. I don't have water yet there. And uh, I have to find a kitchen. 
somewhere. Um, I might salvage something. I, I saw there's a lot of old wooden kitchens for sale here, or basically people are giving them away because they want to upgrade. So I might do that, put something together. Um, yeah, firewood. Uh, Michiel has been stacking up a lot of firewood. I got a big batch from the farmer again like last year because I didn't get to chop my own. And the trees are still very young and thin here, so it's just a lot of work. Um, yeah, white chicken's gonna be fine, I think. She's um, she's getting to the coop now. Yeah, she's still limping, but she's eating and she's I think she'll get there. So uh, yeah, all right.